What's going on guys, it is Murdering here back with another Champion Spotlight video. We're going to be talking about the Demon Spawn Legendary Prince Kaimar today. Support Legendary, but don't be fooled by the title support. This guy does a ton of damage. So first, let's start off and go over his kit and what he can do. We have an A1 that's an AoE, which is awesome. Places a 5% poison debuff for one turn if this attack is a critical hit. We have an A2 that attacks all enemies, so now we have two... AOB ability is one from the A1 and one from the A2, removes all buffs, places a sleep debuff for one turn. Now we have the awesome A3, which is very unique, and pretty much only a few champions do this. So this resets the cooldowns of all allies skills all the way back to being available, which is huge. And it also fills the turn meters of all allies except this champion by 20%. This is a six turn cooldown. And finally, his aura increases ally speed in the arena by 30%. So right off the bat, even from reading it, even without testing it, you know his kit's good. He has two AoE abilities. One of them places a 5% poison. The second one removes all buffs and places a sleep debuff for one turn. And the A3, which is probably the highlight point of his kit, fills a turn meter, but also reduces the cooldowns of all ally skills, which is absolutely huge. So now that I'm here, let me go over the masters real quick. I do have him in a full damage build. This build is not necessarily for arena unless you want him to be your nuke champion. You're not worried about a double hit like Rodos. There are many other builds that I'm going to go over. But for this build I have today, we do have Helm Smasher in the support tree. For that little bump and increased cooldown, but also for the chance to decrease the cooldown, even though it is 5%. As far as artifacts and what he's wearing, I have him in a Savage set and a Cruel set. Going over his total stats, we have 4.2 thousand attack, 149 speed, low speed, but we don't need it, and I'll go over that as well. 100% crit, 245 crit damage, and 33,000 health. Now quickly going over his gear, I do have rather good gear on him, and I don't have speed boots, as you probably could have assumed from the low speed I have on this champion. But now let's get to what it said in the thumbnail. Let's take him right into Nightmare Campaign and see what this guy can do. Let's swap this over to Nightmare. Let's go to 12.6 and let's see how quickly Prince Kaimar can farm. So as we know from Kaimar's kit, he does have that reduce cooldown skill built into his kit. However, he will not use that to reduce his own cooldowns, which is definitely very crucial in making this run work. The only problem is if you do add any type of food to this champion, he will actually reduce the cooldowns. Now, this has actually happened twice already. I'm not sure if it has to do with how quickly the run is. I'm assuming not. I'm assuming if you were watching, this run ended just after 13 seconds, so 14 seconds. I did have some bad RNG there. Actually, funny enough, the 13 second run also popped up as an invalid battle as well. So I'm not really sure what the deal is there. However, this is how fast Kaimar can farm nightmare 12-6 so now that we're back in the game let's go over where kaimar can shine outside of farming most people probably won't be using him as a farmer because as mentioned before if you do add food he does start reducing the cooldowns and what that does is it just wastes a turn makes the run slower so he does farm quickly you can end up with a eight second brutal farm However, he is going to reduce that cooldown as soon as you add other champions, including food, to the mix. So he's probably not the most ideal. I definitely wanted to show you him in Nightmare Campaign because I actually used him to level himself up in 12.6 Nightmare, which made everything so much faster. However, outside of that little showcase there, it's literally just for show and probably not realistic in any real application. So outside of that, where he really shines next would have to be Dragon's Lair, pretty much any dungeon for that matter. However, Dragon's Lair specifically, if you can make him the slowest on the team, he will be in a perfect spot to reduce the cooldowns, making your team a lot quicker. Now, yes, I am running this with four people. You can absolutely run this with five people. However, based on animations, based on the turns everyone takes, I have pretty much the same rundown as far as what happens. Now, this run actually can fail due to some unlucky crit or cooldown usage from the champions going forward. This is the run. As you can see, my best time is 27 seconds when pretty much all of the stars align. And this can actually go all the way down to... 18 or 19 seconds if I 
put both of these royal guards into reflex gear so he's definitely crucial for a speed farming team this same concept can be applied in any single dungeon you can think of because of how strong Prince Kaimar's A3 is. The ability to completely reset the cooldown, not just reduce it by one, but completely refresh it, make sure it's available for the next active turn the other champions have. After Kaimar does use his A3, he is crucial in Fire Knight, Spider, Ice Golem, pretty much anything you can think of, he is going to be a gigantic benefit to you. Now, one thing you can do instead of what I'm doing here, if you don't have good enough damage gear to put on Kaimar, you can also choose to build him tanky. That is a perfectly fine option to build Kaimar tanky. If you want some extra utility out of him, one benefit to him having two AoE abilities and a simple non-active ability as far as he doesn't actually hit any targets, you can put him in some type of CC set. I usually prefer a stun set. You can definitely throw a stun set on this champion. As you can probably imagine, Faction Wars, he's going to have a gigantic presence in Faction Wars with that AoE, with the ability to strip buffs off of opponents. And that's going to move on to the next part of the game where he can absolutely shine, which is going to be the arena. So now that I've showed you this damage build, I've talked about the possible tanky build in a stun set that you can also give this champion. Arena is another way you can use Kaimar to your advantage. What you would be doing is you would build him extremely fast with a good amount of accuracy but zero crit rate the key there is zero crit rate what you want to do is you want to use this a2 to remove all of the buffs and also place a sleep debuff on your opponents however you don't want his a3 placing a poison on the target just in case your team is fast enough to actually lap your opponent through the sleep you don't want any lingering poisons especially for the fact that it can be extended in the support tree if you do take the talent that extends debuffs obviously you can avoid that usually the general consensus is since you do have an a3 that reduces all cooldowns you don't want to sleep them have to use the a1 have a poison go on them try to sleep them again and the poison actually takes them out of that sleep state and pretty much defeats the purpose of having that so you're only using your a2 simply to strip the buffs so i highly recommend if you do use them for arena you keep in mind to build very little crit rate so you're not placing that five percent poison on your target when you're trying to remove those debuffs and actively place that sleep buff on your enemy the next question that i would actually bring up about kaimar is where does he have the best synergy with what champions and the pretty easy answer is anyone with a long cooldown and a very strong cooldown. So any champion like a Royal Guard with the takedown, a Zavia with her A3 that detonates all the poisons, even a Dragomorph when he can keep reapplying poisons. Any champion that offers an extremely powerful cooldown has incredible synergy with Kaimar, especially in the arena. And to top things off, as mentioned in the beginning of this video, he does have a 30% increased speed in the arena aura. So he has the same aura that an Arbiter has. However, if you're really struggling against a team like Tormin and Arbiter's speed boost is killing you and you don't have the option of using a Duchess or a Raglan, anyone to really cleanse that freeze from your team, you can absolutely use a Kaimar and build your other champions as fast as they can. Make sure they go first or even to make sure Kaimar is the fastest, he's going first and he's removing any shields a Krisk may have or any shield sets that are on your opponent, as well as sleeping them to ensure that your team goes next no matter what. Final question that could be asked is, how well can Prince Kaimar perform in a clan boss setting? This is something I've personally wondered myself. Having a six turn cooldown is not very ideal. However, the fact that he completely resets every single cooldown for the rest of the team definitely puts him in a very unique spot. Probably not in any speed tuned team for a counterattack, but in any speed team, even though this is six turns and very long, he definitely has the benefit where he can, on a pretty solid rotation of six turns, keep refreshing cooldowns. So this would work well in synergy with any three turn cooldown where you can slot Kaimar into your team for every six turns. He reduces some very crucial cooldown to your team or your clan boss team and he can keep refreshing that buff. I don't think it's realistic to use this in synergy with an unkillable team. However, with all of the calculators we have, I think it's definitely possible that someone can come up with a way to calculate 
filling the turn meter of everyone besides Kaimar and using this in some type of unkillable setting, although it would definitely be extremely difficult. All right, guys, so that's my final thoughts on this awesome legendary of Prince Kaimar. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you like this content, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next upload, and I will see you all in the next video.